things like that. No. Um, God. Just fucking do it. You know, don't wait on any golden trumpet to sound or anyone to usher you in. Just do it. Just write. Just research. Just think. You know, just do it. Don't wait on anyone's permission. You know, I hate these, you know, barriers to entry that we construct, you know, for our own selfish needs and our own insecurities. Just do it, you know. And yes, it's fantastic to, to read these kinds of books because they will make you think and they will provoke you. I mean, that's pretty much uh, Judd, Ken's and, and Jason's style is to provoke, to poke you. Uh, to be agonistic, and this is why I always get my students actually, so I'm a bit of a hypocrite, so I will make people read certain things. And one of the, the, the kind of founding chapter that every student has to read in my 101, so to speak, class is Aimlessness in Gaming Matters by Judd and Ken, and it basically takes the position that games are meaningless, games have no aim, games are an utter waste of time, and they interpolate you to create meaning create a purpose of song so forth you know for all of these strategies and you know my students are enraged by it you know they they really really need need to believe that their thousands of hours of doing this in their past has meaning outside of themselves you know they have this objectivist epistemology where there is this truth outside of themselves and they've been involved in it this meaning doesn't come from them it comes from out there and they've been accessing it and when I kind of explain no you've generated that meaning and it's only in you or your head that's really damaging um, so I would say yes read 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 but you know along with that just write 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 think 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 just do it do uh, apply whatever tool you've got in your toolbox to, to start and see how it goes. What have you got to lose? You know, trip over, bruise your knee, get up and try again. Yeah. It doesn't mow the lawn. It doesn't cut the grass or shovel the driveway, right? You've got to actually at some point you've got to do the work. You, you, you actually have to do the work. Um, and this is the this is the advantage and disadvantage of letting you go first. Is that Steve will say exactly what I want him to say, <laughs> as you've noticed, and just say it better. So I mean, that's an advantage with a disadvantage. Um, yeah, and and the other thing is that I, I recall you know somebody one of, one of the few people who, who you know uh, whose advice I would take, and it wasn't really advice, which is in, you know those great moments of, of you know giving the whole truth, and, and no matter how ugly it was was that there are two kinds of people in this business. There are those of us who have scratched around, scraped, clawed, worked our asses off no matter what in the face of anything and gotten what we burned. And then there are the people who had everything fall into place. And then the follow-up was, Mark, why would you want to be like them? They just become fascists anyway. And, you know, there's so much truth to that. You know, I don't, I don't really give advice. You know, I just... You know, if, if you want to get an A, double your work. If you want to get an A plus, double your work. You, know, um, you go to grad school, um, you didn't get smarter by getting into grad school. The guy next to you just did. And how you react to that, I think, is the biggest thing. You know, and that's and that's the truth. You know, it's on my first year, it's the same thing. You know, you didn't get smarter coming here. You, you just became average. You know, congratulations, you are now average. Now deal with that. The guy next to you just got smarter. And what are you going to do? Is that going to eat you up or not? You know. And how many of us had students who were way smarter than us in, in grad school, classmates in grad school who were way smarter than us? You know, the smartest guy in my year out of out of seven of us, the smartest guy, he did one chapter. In seven years, he did one chapter. He hadn't finished. He was one of my TAs, like my second year of teaching. He ended up. He was one of my TAs because he was still done. We started at the same time. In one chapter, and this was the smartest one of us. You, know, you actually have these likes that you did. Do, do, feckin' do it. Feckin' do it. Feckin' do it. One modification to Nike. Feckin' do it. 